Thank you. Tonight, Richmond detectives working to find the people behind the disturbing video currently circulating on social media. It shows a pair of juveniles being robbed and then forced to strip naked in broad daylight in a neighborhood. On your side at six, Raven Brown. Look at what they're doing to each other. And we got here about fucking City by Karen and shit. And this video's, the reason I'm saying this is because this video circulating. Wicked just showed me the video the other week where the Sun Teens got the other Sun to kidnap the other Sun Teen and made him drink toilet water. And then they put it all over the internet. That video was out before City Park Care. Okay, so the City Park Care video is the video that black people want to focus on. Now that that City Park Karen thing is kind of died down a little bit, what about this fucking video, Negroes? Thank you. Tonight, Richmond detectives working to find the people behind a disturbing video currently circulating on social media. It shows a pair of juveniles being robbed and then forced to strip naked in broad daylight in a neighborhood. On your side at six, Raven Brown joining us live. She saw the video for herself and has an update on the case. The video is so disturbing that we are not sharing it. Sources tell us it happened over Mother's Day weekend off Afton Avenue and Lynn Haven Avenue. Community stakeholders say that they've had enough of this going on when it comes to violence in our youth. We found out that uh, the video had not been reported to the police department. That's the first thing that bothers me with our community. They did not report the crime, but they spread it all around social media. Reaction from... <laughs> I like the way he said spread it in. in a, a yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, man. I spread it in her cheeks, man. And wax that ass, man. Um, Look at this, man. This is, this guy's talking about, he's making a statement. He does, what one thing he doesn't like about the community. It, look, people, people know that, like, this is, this is a different group of people. This is dealing with these people is like dealing with no one there's no comparison that's why you're so mad about the black and brown coalition there's no comparison a video of teens while we're talking about ralph y'all he got shot well no, the, the white man shot him because he knocked on the door uh the, the what city by karen took she threatened the white the black team by yelling for help it could have got the black team killed and crying yeah white tears and all this shit they put out in the public this video's floating around everybody seeing it and not one person reported it to police not one we found out that uh, the video had not been reported to the police department. That's the first thing that bothers me with our community. They did not report the crime, but they spread it all around social media. Reaction from community activist Charles Willis after seeing a disturbing video of two young men being assaulted and robbed and forced to strip during the process. After watching two versions of it, mad, frustrated, angry, disgusted, the video shows two juveniles being approached by another pair of teens with a gun. Those with the gun assault and rob the victims, force them to strip naked, make them do jumping jacks, and then order them to throw their clothes away in a dumpster and run away. Look how cruel some people are. Press one. Press one. Do you see how cruel some people are? Do you see how fucking cruel they are? Some people are cruel. Rob these dudes, make them do, strip them naked. And you know when you naked, when you scared like that, you got baby dick, man. Press one. When you scared like that, you got baby dick, man. Your little dick is just like this, man. And you should just, <laughs> you out there, you out there and shit. Yeah, the adrenaline's hard on everything except your dick. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like crazy, man. You out there with baby dick doing jumping jacks and shit. 
girls, you know, girls from the hood is fucking laughing at you and shit. Elizabeth City's 51% sun. They call it E-Town. It's a little rough there. <laughs> yeah, you got to fucking move after that shit. Yeah, you got a lot of feedback, like a lot of feedback, Bill. Like, I don't know what's going on there. It's like, I don't know, you got a ham radio or something. Like, do you listen to, you listen to Oc Nation on ham radio? Um, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's crazy, man. Damn, we, we, we're so fucking cruel. And we're not like cruel, like, um, 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 tigers where there's a means to the end. We're just cruel for nothing. Video shows two juveniles being approached by another pair of teens with a gun. Those with the gun assault and rob the victims, force them to strip naked, make them do jumping jacks, and then order them to throw their clothes away in a dumpster and run away. But there's nothing funny about that video at all. The other is emotionally, these kids need not just counsel, they need emotional support. Richmond Police Chief Rick Edwards says detectives are now looking into it and says in a statement, this behavior is deeply shocking and disturbing to its core. Not only do we need to find those responsible, we need to get resources and support to these young men as soon as possible. School board member Jonathan Young says the violence among our youth is something we all need to take seriously. The tolerance for violence and for complete disregard for human life is it's ubiquitous <laughs> yeah yeah that guy that guy's going to deliver some justice right that guy is going to get deliver some hardcore justice he used the word ubiquitous okay is that yeah. any better Art? yeah a little bit you still got static but he he just muted yourself you know told this 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 guy is he he called he summed it up though. He he you gotta give him credit for in his own way. I mean he didn't rail on him, he didn't blast him, he didn't get you know, he, he's not like you know going off about it, but he 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 summed it up better than we usually see. The tolerance for violence and for complete disregard for human life is it's ubiquitous. I wish that I could share that this conversation was in some way an anomaly or uh, an outlier, but it's really not. Willis echoing that sentiment, saying incidents like this can spiral out of control if not handled immediately, noting a significant increase in youth violence these last two years. Every last privilege that we did have been for a person that has been under 23 under the age of 23 and 80% of them have been teenagers right now police say no one is in custody but they're asking you if you do know anything to call crime stop smoke the Charles Nick Charles yeah coming through slide out to you Charles M on the paper um El Salvador but, man that's yeah. it this this is it's just it's so cruel like some people are so Fucking cruel. Fucking beast.